Netflix is bright as an ambitious undertaking from the streaming giant. The new movie from Suicide Squad director David Ayer presents a world where the fantasy of Lord of the Rings and the cop action of Bad Boys intersect. It's a compelling concept, but the two-hour runtime leaves you wishing that all of Bright's world-building didn't feel so rushed. In Bright, elves, humans, fairies, orcs, and dragons all live together in a world that closely resembles ours. Will Smith plays Officer Daryl Ward, who was forced to partner up with the LAPD's first orc policeman, Nick Jacoby, played by Joel Edgerton. Smith and Edgerton have excellent chemistry, as the two very different cops must learn to work together in a world that doesn't think orcs and humans should coexist. Max Landis' script feels timely, with issues of race, gender, national pride, and police brutality echoing throughout the film. I'll take the little homie out LAPD style like you do. While Smith is as full of charm and bravado as ever, it's Edgerton who steals the show. His portrayal of Jacoby is heartwarming. There's an innocence about him that makes his character endearing. He's an orc who's out of place in the world of humans and even among his own people. Most of his fellow orcs don't like the idea of him working with the police. The larger story in Bright focuses on a magical wand, highly sought after for its abilities, reminiscent of Sauron's Ring of Power in Lord of the Rings. Jacoby refers to it as a nuclear bomb that grants wishes. There is an order of renegade elves called the Inferni that want to use the wand to resurrect an ancient evil referred to as the Dark Lord. Many of Bright's shortcomings are due to the poor development of its secondary characters. Numi Rapace makes for an imposing villain as Layla, the leader of the Inferni, but there's not enough backstory to make her interesting. Her character looks incredible and Rapace is a capable actress, but her characters all show in little substance. On a technical level, Ayer's use of muted colors and gritty filming locales centered around Los Angeles gives Bright an authentic, lived-in look, right down to the orc graffiti on the sides of buildings. The fight choreography is fun, especially when the elves join in on the action. Their kicks and flips dazzle in every scene. For the most part, Bright uses practical effects, but when the wands are out or there's fairies flying around, the special effects are top-notch. Netflix used their $90 million budget to make Bright, if nothing else, a visually striking film. No holes? Huh? Uh, the ones that I was born with. Bright could have been something truly special if it had slowed down the pace of its narrative to allow for a fuller exploration of its engaging world. Will Smith and Joel Edgerton are a great duo I'd love to see in a sequel, or even a new series produced by Netflix, so hopefully this isn't the last we'll see of the world of Bright. Thanks for watching. For more reviews, check out what we thought of Star Wars The Last Jedi in The Shape of Water. And be sure to like and subscribe to IGN everywhere you like to watch.